Hello everybody! So today I want to do a review on washer whiffs. These are amazing. When I first discovered them I was blown away with a how amazing my towels and my bedding smell but also all the little hacks and tricks that you can use these for as well. So first and foremost what are washer whiffs? So basically these are enhanced fragrance boosters okay they go into your drum so they don't go into your um shelf you know when you pour your water in and your liquids and whatever else is these go directly into your drum okay um they come with a little scooper so this is like your little scooper and basically you take a scoop of the granules there they are and you pop it into your drum now depending on the size of your washing so if you've got a typical washing machine and you've got two large bath mats two large bath towels um, inside you'll probably just need half a scoop if you've got four or five towels that you're quickly rinsing through um, and you want to kind of just enhance the fragrance of the washing then you might because of the quantity of towels you might want a whole scoop so a whole one of those they are amazing so you put them into your drum you do your washing as usual you don't need to use a fabric conditioner when you use these okay it kind of takes away the the scent so you don't need to use it for this um, you basically wash it on a normal cycle, so 30, 40 degrees, whatever the case may be. Like I say, half a scoop is fine for like a small to medium load. And if you've got a large um, load, like towels or bedding, you're going to want a whole scoop, okay? So you pop it into your drum, you wash your, your laundry, whatever you've put in there, uh, for like the time, you know, whether it's 20 minute cycle, half hour cycle, hour cycle, whatever the case may be. And when you take out your washing, oh wow, it's going to smell amazing, okay? They absolutely smell gorgeous. And this one actually is Magnolia Linen. This is one of my all time favourites. It's very, very fresh. It's very, very clean. It's kind of got that kind of clean linen scent. You know you've just done laundry, but it's kind of got the magnolia essence. So it's got the floral notes in there as well. Really, really pretty fragrance. Um, when you open this up, mind you, okay, it's going to smell really, really strong. So if you sort of take the top off <laughs> and go like that and do a really big sniff, okay, you're going to be quite overpowered because... <laughs> It's really, really concentrated. Um, so, you know, you might want to take it off and kind of do that to kind of figure out the fragrance, okay? But it absolutely smells gorgeous. So it goes into your washing machine, into your drum. Uh, like I say, small to medium load, maybe half a scoop, uh, medium to heavy load, a whole scoop, okay? But you don't need any more than that. Um, normally, I personally, so I can only talk from personal kind of experience, I normally get about 30 washes out of one of these. They're 14 15 um, absolutely well worth the money. But, 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 does it just stop there? Oh, no, no, no. These do lots more. So I'm going to give you a couple of little hints and tips of what you can also use this for. So if you've got stinky trainers, okay, uh, you know the ones that you can smell before you even know where they are, okay? You, you can locate them through odour. <laughs> what you can do at night, this is what I do, is I take about, take literally the smallest amount. So literally a tiny little scoop of um, washer whiffs and I sprinkle it into the bottom of one trainer and then I take the same again, I sprinkle it into the bottom of the other trainer. And then I give the trainer a little bit of a shunt back and forth. So the washer whiffs cover um, all the area of the footbed. And then I stuff a sock just in the top, just so the odour doesn't get released. So it stays into the trainer. And then in the morning, I um, pour out just onto the top of the lid, the, 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 the washer whiffs that have been in the trainer all night. Now, they still smell amazing, mind you. They don't go and start to smell like stinky trainers. Uh, but I pour them out 
and I give the inside a little dusting. So I just take like a damp cloth or, um, or a tea towel or a kitchen towel, anything like that. And I just dust off any residue so it's nice and clean inside. And the trainers smell amazing, okay? It's an amazing little hint, tip, hack, whatever you want to call it. Then what I do, because I don't want to waste the little bit of wa uh, washer whips that I've got in my lid, I go to my hoover and I sprinkle a little bit into my hoover. So I've got, um, uh, you know, the cylinder ones that don't have a bag. So I've got one of those. So I just pour a little bit of these in there. As I hoover, the hoover through like the airflow systems starts to penetrate the smell, the scent into the room. So it actually smells quite pleasant what you're hoovering. Another little tip. Then I get a little bit more that's left and I put it in a bucket of nice warm water. And if I'm mopping the floors, um, so I've mopped the floor and I wanna just finish it off to make sure it's all nice and clean and fresh and smells gorgeous, I then dunk my mop into the, the bowl of water with a little bit of washer whips in and I go back over the area just as a kind of like finale. And my floor, not only does it obviously look clean, but it smells gorgeous too. So there's a few little tips there for you. Um, so once you've kind of used, you know, you wash your whiffs in the trainers, you never want to just chuck it away. You want to do something really productive with it. It's it's money, isn't it? So you want to do something really productive with it. So why not put it in your hoover? Why not mop your floors with the residue? So amazing little tips there for you. Hope you've enjoyed listening to today's video. Well worth the money amazingly concentrated so will last and last and last and last and like I say you don't need to use fabric softener if you're using these I personally again just personal preference I wouldn't wash <laughs> pants and socks in these um or sportswear or um kids clothes you know they get all grubby and dirty I wouldn't personally use it on those uh, I think it's too nice um, I love it when I get out of the shower, I get out of the bath and I get my towel and it absolutely smells beautiful. So I use it on my towels and of course I, I use it on my bed linen and also obviously not in the summer but in the winter when I'm kind of got a throw over me on the sofa, um, I wash all my kind of fairy throws in this too. So amazing, amazing product. If you want to find out more, We've got some beautiful scents. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, we have the most gorgeous one called Jammy Time. You're going to love it. And we've also got Fluffy Fleece, which is an absolute must for autumn winter. Um, so go check them out on my website, www.hollingdales.scentsy.co.uk. Follow me at Hollingdales Home Scents on Facebook and feel free to message me if you've got any questions. Have a great day.